वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल व्हाट इज ए इलेक्ट्रिक डाइपोल लेट अस टेक टू एटम्स एन ए एंड सी एल यू नो ऑलरेडी इन केमिस्ट्री एन ए इज प्लस एंड सी एल इज माइनस सो व्हाट विल हैपन obviously you know opposite charges will attract to each other so these both atoms will attract to each other but this both will not merge this both atom will not merge or will not combine completely what will happen these charges this plus charge and this minus charge will maintain a finite distance between them this formation of the charges maintaining a finite distance between them is known as dipole formation if you take your cl minus this side the na will go with it if you take the na will go this side the cl will go with it because they both are in contact with each other by maintaining a distance finite distance so far you might have doubt why i have taken this one is plus you know it very well it is present inside the nucleus but why i have written minus inside the minus should be outside this nucleus but if you take <coughs> minus outside like this then you know according to the first year physics where is like center of mass where is the center of charge it's a sphere the center of charge is here so that's why i have taken your charge minus inside okay so this doesn't matter the thing is that you have to know that is <coughs> two atoms or two charges maintaining a finite distance between them is known as dipole formation and these charges should be opposite and always remember the two atoms will not merge completely right and this figure is like this <coughs> this is minus q this is plus q and it is the distance this is the midpoint this is the midpoint and from the midpoint this distance is l from midpoint this distance is l from midpoint this distance is l this distance is l so what is the total distance total distance is l plus l to l right now what is electric dipole when two opposite charges comes to closer then they will not insert or combine properly into other electron full stop this combination of electron and positive charge is known as dipole formation they are separated with a finite distance electric field is formed by this two charges because of the two charges are not equal you can also write the notes by pausing the video okay when it is placed in an electric field they will experience a force in opposite direction which is known as torque because of it the dipole will move okay how the dipole will move let us see this is the dipole present and here is the electric field and you know it very well from where the electric field starts the electric field starts from plus and ends at minus <coughs> so minus is present here that means the plus will move this side this is the dipole so the plus will move like this and the minus will move towards the plus so this will move like this that means plus q will go to up and minus q will come down right and this is happening because of what because of a couple of force and you know it very well in the first year what is this couple of force is known as 
torque okay and from midpoint to the distance is l <coughs> okay now coming to the next part is dipole moment you know it very well what is moment the moment of the dipole is the product itself multiplied with its distance from the center of rotation okay product itself means product this one itself multiplied a distance from the center of rotation what is this one let us not take minus and plus let us not take the <coughs> uh, minus and plus let us take the magnitude value okay so magnitude means q into l this side also q into l so what is the moment q into l plus q into l so what is the total value the total value is ql plus ql is equal to 2ql therefore dipole moment is equal to 2ql and it is represented with p vector it is represented with p vector each and every time i am telling you you have to write the note by pausing the video right pause and write down the notes okay it's a vector quantity whose direction is from negative to positive like number system it is always it's a very good habit to take minus to plus okay follow the rule because it is easier to calculate now let us take two long questions that is electric field on the axial line suppose this is the dipole present minus q and l separated by distance l and l from the center of rotation <coughs> okay like a cycle handle cycle handle is what like this and you are moving like this yes or no so where is the rotation taking place your midpoint is fixed from the midpoint this distance is l and what is the moment l into this product right and they are moving like this okay and let us take a test charge at this point on the axial line okay because we are reading the concept of axial line or let us place it at axial line test charge means it is a very small charge okay and it is always positive it is always positive now let us take let us find out the electric field it is present at the axis okay x axis or y axis whatever you take on the same axis that's why it is known as axial line okay so if it is plus q okay and this one is also plus so what will happen there will be a deflection so arrow mark is like this what i am trying to tell is this is plus q and this is plus and because of this a deflection will take place and because of this the arrow mark is like this this is minus q and this is plus so what will happen attraction so the arrow mark is like this okay now let us take out the distance always you have to take from the center to the test charge distance what is the distance this is r because the rotation takes place from where the rotation is always from the center right <coughs> and it will move like this right so this is r if this is r this to this is how much this one is l so this is r and this is l so what is this to this distance is r minus l and this to this is how much obviously this point to this one distance is what r plus l over okay okay now let us find out electric field due to plus q charge is what e plus q equal to you know the formula 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and this is plus q divided by r minus l square why r minus l square because the distance from plus q to your test charge positive is how much r minus l and what we need to find the electric field at this point okay we need to find electric field at this point due to this dipole and where this charge is present at the 
axial line or where this point is present this point is present at the axial line let us consider this point as p okay so for minus q charge what is the electric field a minus q equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q divided by r plus l whole square because the distance is right now what for the minus q charge r plus l how this is minus this is minus and this is the test charge what is the distance between them r plus l okay therefore the net electric field is e plus q plus e minus q so place all these values that is q by 4 pi epsilon naught r minus l square minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught r plus l square okay because minus is present here right so what will happen on the next the next is q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by r minus l whole square minus 1 by r plus l whole square that is q by 4 pi epsilon naught i have taken outside so now let us solve it okay this is this will go this side this will go this side you know this one already you have done so many times okay divided by r square minus l square whole square <coughs> next again q by 4 pi epsilon naught you have to remove these brackets and solve and at last okay r square plus l square plus 2 rl and all this will be uh, some parts will be cancelled and you will get finally q by 4 pi epsilon naught 4 rl by r square minus l square whole square okay so you can write it q by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 into this 4 as 2 into 2 rl because i need a trick 2 into q into l is how much dipole moment p right this one okay so we'll get the answer as 2 p r divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r to the power 4 and i have cancelled your l because l is more less than r see this side your l is more less than r so your you can neglect l and this becomes r square and this square is become r fourth why l is more less than r you can see the figure this one is l and what is your r this is your r so that's why l is less than your r so this 4 and this r is being cancelled and you will get the value 2p divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into r cube right so this is the answer for your electric field at a point present on the axial line due to a dipole right and one concept will come to your mind why i have not cancelled 4 and 4 because this 4 pi epsilon naught you cannot cancel your 4 pi is an angle and epsilon naught is what permittivity this 4 and this 4 you cannot cancel because this 4 pi is the maximum angle where your epsilon naught is working okay where your permittivity is working on a particular charge okay 4 pi means this is a sphere and through all the surface of the sphere the epsilon naught is working okay which one is a sphere your charge is a sphere okay to all the surface it is working for a whole sphere 3d concept what is its angle 4 pi so epsilon naught is working on a charge up to what angle up to 4 pi angle because this is a circle circles this is 0 this is pi by 2 this is pi this is 3 pi by 2 this is 2 pi but for a sphere this one is a circle and again this will be like this this will become a sphere and for a sphere calculation it will become 
फोर पाई राइट right? 